and blame the battery and let's put a different one on. <laughs> That's very odd. Um, my reason for blaming the battery would be that the battery probably got really cold um, a couple nights in a row, my bad. Um, well, and that you can see that this battery is abnormally shaped as well. <laughs> We should see a difference with this 1500 nitro nectar. I removed the balance lead. It's a huge battery too. Not a lot of room on this chameleon with, uh, with this GoPro in the way, but we're gonna make do. And uh, yeah, man, I was punching out. There was nothing there. I'm like, uh oh. I'm just like, this is not gonna make a good video, and it's just not very good fun. All right. Give me some power. Turn you to the field. Let's hope that's not what we get this time around. Reset my timer. Well, as written on the internet, as, as I've been told, um, the 30 amp bullet ESCs really have a lot of noise. And in the FPV feed on the camera, there was a lot of lines, just like everyone explained. Um, they even said put a cap on all four, <laughs> plus the battery leads. We'll see, maybe I'll do one and test it, and then, but probably do them all if I can fit them on there. Uh, flew great, just uh, that the feed was bad. I mean, it was, there's lots of lines. As soon as I grabbed the throttle, you know, punch out or, or grab some speed, the lines got a little bit worse. Um, bumped it up to 200 milliwatts, so that's definitely better than it was. Um, yeah, that's a drone telling me to shut up already. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 25 wasn't, wasn't great. 200, obviously a lot better. Um, just, I gotta put some caps on those ESCs. Thanks again. Team DBA.